And today we're gonna play with these two plates. They are meant to be reinforcements for the roll cage and they go some way like this. Okay. What I want to do to them is uh, make here a hole, one on each plate and make a dimple and for that we need to make a really small dimple die using this uh, screw and for anybody that doesn't know this is the dimple but this is much bigger one and for this I have already made the tool Okay, this is M12 screw and the diameter of the head is around 23 and a half, let's call it 24. One problem is the steel bar I have, it's only 25. And ideally, you would have something like this. Hopefully you can see my chicken sketch. You will have here and here flat surface. So when you press it together, the steel plate will go here and the screw would thread here and it would deform this edge down so in the end you would get something like this on your steel plate the problem is as this is 24 and my bar is uh, 25 so this leaves me here with only a sharp edge and this is not ideal but I only want to bend it really gently uh, I will make this out of the stock I have so out of this 25 millimeter and uh, we'll try it and see how it goes So what I need to do is have something like this. Here it will be M12 threaded. I need to cut this angle which is probably 90 degrees included and I would need to cut this out so I can have it uh, grip in the vise so I can have it gripped in the vise and that should be that we're gonna face this side and uh, for this operation on this lathe, uh, because it doesn't have automatic feed in this direction, I made this little thing. So you can put it on your uh, battery powered drill and you can have also this action like this. Okay.
Mor. This looks very good. Now we need to drill the hole in it to put the M12 thread. First we need to put the center with the center drill. I'm gonna start with a smaller drill. Let's say five millimeters first, and then work my way to the nominal size, to the final size needed. The nominal hole size for the M12 thread is 10.2 millimeters. I don't have a 10.2 drill, so I will use this one. This is 10.5 millimeters.
So I had to change the setup here on the lathe and uh, this is actually a boring bar uh, and I will try to make this 45 uh, angle with, with this setup and let's see how it goes. see this worked pretty good actually really good this is first time for me uh, doing this something like this uh, on this light so new setup just had to try it I decided to leave uh, to leave here a little bit meat not to go the full uh, 15 millimeters in diameter now we only have to do what we have to do is uh, cut the m12 thread inside This is a uh, Ruko tap, brand new one and a really really great product. Pretty good. While we are here at late I will also face this side because it's a little bit uh, mush mushed up or messed up. Whatever. Okay, what we are left to do is 
this cut out so I can mount it here um, and it won't spin when I try to put the screw in and tighten it. This is where I'm at now. I made these two little slots as we described here earlier so I can fit 19 millimeter wrench or I can put it in a vise and I can grip it tightly while uh, screwing this okay so I actually made it now multifunctional because you can use it even if on something that is already welded or uh, you cannot use it uh, on the vise for whatever reason and I actually made a test on an aluminum 5754 aluminum and uh, it turned out pretty good but, but one thing I did have to made, make is this to keep it flat so how it works it's a little difficult with one hand This oversized washer actually makes it flat. I tried initially without it and it really deformed it, the piece, the sheet piece and it wasn't good. And when I try with it, it turned out really okay. And now what is only left to do is to try it on this chromoly pieces I already drilled and deburred the holes and let's try it I have lubricated the hole and the screw so it doesn't stick trying to fly away It has started a little bit. Thank you. 
and this is 8.8 eight screw, so not the best choice. Now this looks okay, but the plate is deformed, so we need to straighten it. I think I can straighten this with a hammer. Chrome all is really tough for, for this kind of work. I came up with an idea. Why not use wheel nuts instead of this? So one problem is uh, this thread is 12.1.5 and I already made this with a 12.175 which is a standard M12. So I made another one with the correct thread inside. I also polished a little bit here. Now I can use the standard wheel nuts, wheel bolts. For the, for the same purpose. I even got two. This one is for the aluminum wheels and this one for the steel wheels. They all have different profiles. I also machined a relief here so I can get this deeper into the thread. Now let's see what results we get with these two. This was the uh, made with this one. This is very deformed, not equally flared out, here is higher than here. Let's try with uh, other shape.
This looks a little bit better. This type of tool is the best, but this is made for press. So you press this and it deforms uh, the metal. And this works really, really good. I made this, I think, a few years ago. This kind of tools usable, but not the best result. All, all depends on what you exactly want. But yeah, you can get some okay -ish results. You can build different types of tools uh, with the thread to work better than this, but requires just more machining. I was not happy with the results with these things, so I machined this. And with this, we should get pretty good results. And just a regular M12 screw, and then it deforms the material. So the same as the bigger one, just smaller, and you can still uh, use it without the press. Instead of the press, you can use the screw or you can probably use it on the press but instead of this, you should have uh, some kind of pin to centering down while pressing it. Let's see how this turns out. Let's do it the other way, to have them all on the same side. much better but it's still deformed this material because we don't have enough here flat to straighten it out but generally I think it will work just fine on the bigger bigger pieces this I can always uh, straighten uh, manually with the hammer not, not that big of a deal Now, as far as the dimensions, this one I did in CAD and made the drawings and made it on a lathe, of course. But with this one, I really don't know. <laughs> I just did it uh, by best feeling. So I didn't draw this up anywhere. This was all done just according to feeling. I I based everything out of uh, M12 
hole and that's basically that. I made this chamfer a little bit uh, narrower in diameter than this. So as you can see you have a little a little bit play here uh, just so you can accommodate uh, material thickness. But maybe it's too much, maybe it's too little, I don't know. It works really good for uh, up to 2 mm aluminum. I did try uh, 3 mm, didn't do well, it's just too thick. So not designed for that. But for thin thinner metals and uh, like just plain steel up to let's say 1.5 mm thickness and aluminum uh it will work it will work good and of course you can build this any size you can even make this with a threaded hole and a larger bolt here to compress it that's that only left to do now is clean this a little bit prepare it for welding and weld it on the chassis One thing I wanted to mention about this design of dimple die tool because this edge is the first that, that contacts the material while pushing it down it can get deformed towards in and then you cannot get this out of the bolt it actually swages around this shank it's good for soft materials like aluminum or thin steel, mild steel, let's say. So one thing how, can you, how you can improve that is to have a smaller hole here and then centering part here. So let's say something like this. And this chamfer would, would be here the problem with that is you have to use smaller bolt and then you get more stress on the threads you could strip the thread if you're if you're trying to deform some harder material so it, it all has its uh, benefits and downfalls the best design is the one on, that you saw on the big dimple die tool for hydraulic pressing.